enough. No, my sword. By royal decree. Ay -ay -ay. As you wish, main foilein. your fate.
Astra Abyss. Thank you for comp. Add Astra Abyssoth. Shines eternal! 
For the wicked. Here comes the catch. Witness the power. Midnight, fantastic. Rain outlines your fate. Trust it. Game's up. Pound into the rock. Go. God's over. Lord of Sand. Your sacrifice is ready. Crisis storm! Let me weave you a burst.
Illusion shattered! You're toast! Let's light it up! Nice and spicy! Everybody stand back! Shine down! Inazuma shines eternal!
right. Rebecca, we have a lot to tell you. Ah, welcome back. <laughs> Sounds like everyone's friends already. Oh, Dia's here too! You bet. So, everything goes smoothly? Reasonably. Hmm? I'll hate them didn't go with you? We haven't seen him at all! Huh. I saw him around the village entrance earlier and figured he was investigating with you. I guess he must have gone off on his own. Did you find out anything you... I see. So someone used a kind of incense to leave the exiled scholars away from the village. The Resurrection of the Scarlet King? First I've heard of it. Far as I know, the kind of incense you just mentioned is only popular beyond the wall. Scholars are fond of it, but as you can see, there aren't many scholars still studying around these parts. No seller would be able to make a profit here. Not to mention making incense is a labor-intensive process. You won't see anybody in the desert with the patience to make or sell something that requires that kind of effort. It seems someone from beyond the wall must have been supporting this. Makes sense. What should we do then? Do we go back to the Academia and search for leads there? If it was any other day, that would be your next logical step. But today, you've got me on your team, so you get an extra tip. Didn't you say that the villager got his news from the tavern? Well, I also like to drink at the tavern, so I know a thing or- If Paimon remembers correctly, the leader of the Radicals is some guy called Delavar. Ah, yeah. Delavar, the scar-riddled bandit, Enger, the white-eyed butcher, and Jabari, the ducktail bearded crook. The whole lot of them are known around these parts. These guys have one thing in common, and that's being broke. The rougher life gets, the more they want to believe in the Scarlet King. The way they see it, the Scarlet King's resurrection is their only chance at overthrowing the Academia. Throwing all of Sumeru into chaos is the only way to change the way of life here in the desert. Anyway, that's my guess why they've chosen to become radicals. Tia! You're amazing! You really know this place inside and out! No merc can afford to slack off on gathering intelligence. Every more I've spent in the tavern has been a valuable investment. Let's head out. Now hold on, you're staying right here, Sino. Why? Aru Village is not a big place. Outsiders stand out here like a sore thumb. I'd bet word about you has already gotten out. The desert is unforgiving, so the way of life here is also a lot tougher than on the outside of the wall. You survive on making connections out here. T compared to you, mercs like me are just third-rate amateurs. I've got no actual fighting skills to speak of. But that also makes it a whole lot easier for me to gain the locals' trust. I need to go around and ask some questions, but it'll be difficult if you're with me. Fine. Good. Then we've got a plan. The Traveler and Paimon will go to Caravan Rebot with me, and we'll try our best to figure out where the Mad Scholars have been taken. Signed- Alright! Sounds like a plan! Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Paimon's amazed every time we see the wall of Samiel. How can a wall this tall even exist? It's almost... unreal. I know what you mean. 
I had the same question every time. Also, why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Sumeru is run by wise and mighty sages. To them, us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used and discarded at their whim. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. Even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, almost all their requests for knowledge would be denied. The Academia believes we're underserving. Geniuses like Satari are- That's terrible! I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could. Hey, Thea! Uh, no, not at all. This place just gets me thinking, that's all. Besides, we- Yep! We got it! Shh! Caravan Rebot is crawling with people, so be care- Our mission started the moment we arrived. Let's go check out the tavern. Just our luck. None of them are here today. You mean, you don't see any- Dia, is that you? <laughs> what a coincidence. You hmm? Z oh, and who do you have with you here? Guests from another land? Hello, hello. <laughs> We've had drink. Anyway, as far as my friends here, they aren't too- Absolutely. Yeah. Have you seen- Of course I have. I've got a spot. Ah, help. Hey, keep it down. Let's just say I prefer to keep this- <laughs> Yes, how can- there yet yep this place is practically deserted what are they doing in a place like this <laughs> why don't you take a guess go on a wild stab in the dark this all about, Zaki? Come on, Dia. Not only do I... So you... Uh-oh. <laughs> so you and Della... <laughs> but you got one thing. If that's the case, then... I'll be honest with you. If it weren't for what you said in the village, you're... Delavar. And Enger. You're here too, huh? Long time no... Dia. <laughs> yeah. See? There... You're not wrong. Enough talking! Get him! 
<clears throat> Just as I expected. Let's teach him a lesson, Traveler. Impossible! So, what do you think about your meticulous network now, Zaki? I'm guessing you're in And of course you would believe, even though you heard that so-called That's what you thought. <sighs> and you were stupid enough to fall for it. I figured as much the first time we drank together. You... Okay, that should be all of them. Whoa! So you've been planning this since we were in... No task can be done with... Oh. Those two who were snooping around. Oh, you mean that's just a bunch of drunk talk. Enger and Delavar alcohol has a way of. What about? Z He's just a numbskull who fell right into our trap. Zaki was probably the best hidden of them all. My initial plan was to. That's what you wanted to. Wait. So. He no. Wow. Ah, you're too. So. Hmm. About how Mercy. Does that bother you? What makes you so sure? Uh. Dia, do you? <laughs> you two are pretty sharp. No, I don't have anything against the Dendro Archon. I've heard a lot of nice things about the Lesser Lord from Dunyarzad. I can understand her devotion and gratitude. Dunyarzad's just an ordinary person. There's no way a god would be so involved in the lives of everyday people, unless they were truly compassionate. I've begun to realize that the Sages are behind everything that's happened recently. The Radical's blind belief in the Scarlet King, making the Dendro Archon out to be an enemy. <sighs> but I see through it all. And Dia. Anyway, looks like we're done with business here. This should be all of- Alright. Well, Candice! Candice will be okay on her own. She's been guarding Aru Village for quite some time. While I'm question- I'll meet you back here tomorrow morning, Traveler. As for these idiots... Right on time. <laughs> we'll know any moment now. Paimon's been one- We've known each other for some time now. She's a pretty interesting person. Even though she's an extremely- Oh! Paimon knows what you mean- Yep. I get Us mercs, on the other hand. Well, Paimon thinks you're- Really? Oh! Sino's here! Yes. I was here yesterday to help out a little. To help out? By doing what? Sharing some interrogation techniques. Oh! Um, you mean you taught Candace some more... persuasive methods? Right. Come on in, everyone. Come on. Let's go inside. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow. Huh? All will be revealed in the next volume? Oh, drat.
You need to watch out for any signs of earthquakes and sandstorms. If my calculations are correct, Wanwen Bookhouse is due to receive a batch of new releases today. Might we add a small detour to our adventure? You need to watch out for any signs of earthquakes and sandstorms. Do I? Oh, there's no mask that can hide. Perhaps I need to work up. Still, it's perfectly understood. Uh, yes, <laughs> please, uh, don't beat us anymore. <laughs> We're gonna die. Well, looks like sign up. You fear death yourselves, yet you do not hesitate to place the lives of others at risk. <laughs> the absurdity is mind boggling The ones you call mad scholars are known to us as the village keepers. They are vital members of our community. You come here. Uh, You've made your- We may both be the people of Auroville. A war would only cause us to lose all that we have. And that is not- uh, We understand. I'll tell you ever- I'm listening. Uh, you- Some mystery- They're called village keepers. Slip up- uh, Yes, it was all that mystery man's doing. He told us to spread word about the Scarlet King's resurrection and talked us into helping him. Uh, I'm- That's one. Huh? What? Strike. Wait, I'm telling you the- He got us to lure the- hmm. You gotta believe me. That was indeed the truth. Traveler, go on. You have to believe me. He, um, that guy- I believe I may know what's going on. Uncle Anp- <laughs> Okay. If my sister... Hmm. Some time ago, it strikes me... Which means it's... Huh, they were the one... Not the academia, I can't... Just as I... But what could they want with... The People are nothing... <sighs> Regardless. You're right. Time to go. Let's leave the village. Yes. You got it. All right. Let's meet back here once every... Think. Uh, uh, Paimon's so mad! Paimon's gonna give you an uh, uh, Um, there's just nothing super obvious. Well, anyway. <sighs> yep. Uh, enough with the silence! No. I'm just surprised that you decided to. All Haytham. You haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Yeah, you. While you were in. Really? To be honest, not to mention that. Correct. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. What is that? How do you think the residents of Aru Village feel about what- In other words, do you truly believe every- You mean- Hiding the truth- Remember what Gandis said? By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present cons- Glad you're following a Among those you have- The reason- <gasps> Don't change the sub- It's quite ob- <laughs> Right. She corrected her- I think it's been a- Remember? But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic- After speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Then, why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention- I'll pass on this one. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. We're on it! Outlines your fate!
Miss Shawnee, as we discussed earlier, I've brought... <laughs> Mr. Ohe... Huh? What do you mean? We need to clear... Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get... Go on. Earn her trust. Is it really that simple? Uh, may I call you... Uh, hi, Chav. Do you think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the... Why is that? Hmm. That's very simple for, Traveler, do you believe our lives? Yeah! We, but even we have friends and... I want my apologies for posing my... Oh, hey, them told it. The fact is that I'm... Only some believe in the... T Speaking of which... Yeah, slowly, I just stopped talking and then it happened. You can tell them. All right. I actually have a sharper sense of- uh, There are ghosts? Perhaps. It used to be louder and more- I confirmed this with Bud. Because we're in the- There's really nothing around- I think they used to use it for treating- Yeah! to me. Oz, oh, reveal thyself. Ooh, is this the place? Oh, it's in terrible shape. And there's sand everywhere. Ah, monsters, watch out! Grimcutter, know my sword. This is the one. <laughs> Let's go in and take a look. Patience. Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. Until then... I'm taking a break. <sighs> and just like that, he sits down. Wait, he even brought a book to read? What are you reading? Let Paimon see! Okay, sure. So... Oh, Paimon gives up! You keep reading your book, see ya! How is he so relaxed? Look at him, reading an impossible book in a creepy place like this! Hey! Paimon! And anyway, is that Paimon's fault that the books people read in Sumeru are so complicated? Paimon 
Everyone's getting so sleepy. Huh? What was that sound? There it is. It's coming from that direction. Is the sound coming from here? Huh. Paimon's not seeing anything. Hmm? It's from below. Uh, but there's no way we can get down there. Something is off about the interior here. Hmm. As I thought. Wow. It's like they talk. Oh, it looks like they're. This world is full of un- your fate. Huh? 